monsters. Uh, this isn't gonna work, baby. New day. Watch everything burn. Can you see it? Lame. I want to see it burn. Baby's burning. Burn, baby, burn. That one managed to find cover. Skeleton apparently didn't drop anything because I don't see where he died. Oop. There we go. Any other useful things? A whole lot of not useful things right here. Yep, that's that's what we were about to. Ow! Rude. Dang it. Clean up my mess down there too long. There we go. But why are there skeletons in my house? I really need to put doors on things. I. Let me do that real quick. Um, sure. Spruce doors look good. Do any more spruce locks? I do. I don't really need 15 doors, but I will take 7 doors. Come on, come on. There we go. So, Pokey, I don't know if you're still around or not, but I do appreciate you dropping by and saying hi, even even if you don't stick around. I appreciate everybody coming by and saying hi, because it's very encouraging. Just that you thought about me. Cool. Drop this off now. Don't need the rest of it. A few too many doors. There we go. Oh, my. What don't we need? Cobblestone. Gold. On the redstone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there anything else? Not a lot. They weren't down there too long. Got distracted by lighting up caves. <laughs> I'm gonna drag these over here. Did not bring any coal with me. I swear I mined coal. What did I do with it? Charcoal. It started. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this with me. Leave anything in there? Nope. Uh, okay. That's where we're going to get started with. The third one. And we will start making Circle. Mm -hmm. Nice. And we shall start it logging. Oh, well, it's been a very long and several episodes of resource gathering. We did uh, work on fixing up the farm down there, so food is constant. I will not need to farm that wheat uh, to harvest the wheat field for a long time. I have more than enough wheat the leather farm for a while. Smelt up some of this iron here in a minute. Yep, looking good. 
make more iron pickaxes. Or iron axes in this case. Actual axes is what I need. Actual axes, by the way, is the name of my high school band. True story. I have not one single musical bone in my body. <laughs> I knew better than to even attempt band. Which leads me to probably the final story time with Peppy for the day. Story time with Peppy! That's the intro jingle. Uh, yeah, so since I didn't do band, uh, I had my choice of god awful physical education. Or ROTC. Which is basically what I chose was ROTC. Which was neat. Uh, yeah, everybody needs a, a club or group in high school, and that was mine. I won't say I was particularly good at it. It's not like it was hard or anything. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I really need iron and... Ah, uh, not work. I just need one, really. I'm gonna make two because I can. And let's go enchant them. And I enjoyed it for the most part. It was very, uh, hey, Pokey, we've just started up story time with Peppy. <laughs> Going well. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Yeah, efficiency is fine. Breaking is preferable. There we go. And that goes back to the box. Along with all this other stuff. Oh. Cool. So, yeah, I didn't even attempt to do physical education at uh, in high school. That was not my, my jam. I stuck with ROTC for way longer than you needed. You only needed half a credit. Uh, which is bizarre. I had to do a health class, which apparently human biology doesn't count. <laughs> you have to take a separate health class. The only one offered. And it was, you know, not informational very much at all. So for the other half credit, I ended up with ROTC. And that was what I stuck with. You also had to have uh, an endorsement if you were not on the advanced or advanced academic diplomas. I was actually on the advanced academic diploma, so I didn't need an endorsement, but I got one anyway. And the endorsements were you had to have four credits in a particular, like, elective I'll say it's weird when you think about electives in high school, but we had them. We were on block format. So instead of having eight classes year round, we had four classes for half a year. So much better. Trust me. It means you only have homework for four classes. Think about that. Probably more homework per class, but it's less your brain has to think about at one time. So I much prefer the block schedule. And it's more similar to what college and universities do. So every year you needed one class of like art, band, PE counted, or um, there there was a health track, there's a home ec track, there was a shop track. And you could take, you know, various levels of advancing and such things. Need one more of those and throw the iron ore in there. Charcoal logs and we'll have a whole stack of charcoal and we're good to go. Nice. But mine was ROTC. And I really liked the structure of it. Like it's it's not like boot camp. It's not like regular army or anything. Uh but the structure was nice. And they did have a habit of sticking like 
all the problem students in ROTC. I don't know why they did that. I guess, like, maybe the structure they thought would help them. Uh, I, I wasn't a trouble student, I promise. Yeah, there we go. But I did learn to excel in ROTC. And what they taught wasn't so much physical as it was a way of thinking, an attitude of not necessarily superiority, but of holding yourself to a higher standard. And it was sort of eye-opening. Like, if you're mega depressed and you, you have the typical teenage, like, gangly, weird, awkward phase, then ROTC was a place that did not care about that. You could go there and... Your advancement was based on your own merit, on your hard work, and you controlled it yourself. Like, th there weren't really any sort of stepping stones or blocks in the way. It's as far as you wanted to go, you could go. Like, you could be absolutely awful at it, but if you were willing to put in the effort and show that you were putting in effort, that's all they cared about, is show up and do the work, and you're good. You, you get an A for the class. That's what it was up. That's what the class was in, was showing up and doing the work. I didn't care how well you did the work, that you showed up and did the work. It was an attitude, like I said. And I missed that. I missed that so much in college. That just did not exist in college. Uh... <laughs> I often say that my high school classes were harder than my university classes. It's so sad, but absolutely true. Well, that was all it for the Dark Oak. <laughs> and, you know, some of, the, some of the actual skills that I picked up are helping me right now today, sitting here doing this. One of the things you have to do in ROTC is get up and give a speech, public speaking, uh, confirmed by statistical analysis and scientific research to be more feared than actual death. <laughs> People would literally rather die than give a public speech. Uh, I completely relate. This is so much different than that, though, sitting here and, and doing this. And the, the more classes you had in ROTC, the longer the speech had to be. So by my fourth year in ROTC, I had to stand up and give, no lie, a 45-minute speech. Massive. Uh, I literally refer to it as teaching a class, because classes were about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes long anyway. So they didn't have time for anybody else to do their speech that day. It was just going to be me. And this is, I always find it funny at work where they require me to recertify for CPR and first aid. And they're like, are you sure? You Yes, I know everything. I literally taught a class in CPR and first aid in high school. Like actual taught the class. Uh, there was no teacher behind you over your shoulder. Uh, they would stop you if you were like rambling on things that weren't true or just blatantly wrong and false. They would definitely stop you if that was the case. But I stood there for 45 minutes, well, 43 minutes, and gave a class on CPR and first aid. And that was tremendous. Like, I was so proud that I had done that. And I didn't get a 100. I was <laughs> kind of annoyed. But he had every right. I didn't make my time. I made 43 minutes. But here's the catch-22 of that. If I had gone off my outline and made stuff up for two minutes, I would have lost more points. And that that in itself in itself in and of itself, oh my goodness, words, was part of the list. Like knowing when to stop. <laughs> you know, I'd said everything I wanted to say. I'd done a very brief Q and A session, and nobody was bailing me out with extra questions. So I called time at 43 minutes, knowing full well that I was short two minutes because there was 
no reason to keep going. I was going to lose points either way for being off uh, outline or not having time. So I chose to end with factual information and call it a day. And he didn't even stop like after, uh, to, to go over everything. He, he literally looked up, the instructor looked up, because they had to sit there and listen to you, with a stopwatch, you know, hit the timer, and he looked me dead in the eye and said, had you gone two more minutes, like on topic, not making stuff, I had gone two more minutes, you'd have been the first student that he, while he'd been there, had given a 100 on the grade two for a 45 minute long speech. <laughs> As it was, I got a 95, and I was, I was okay. I was plenty happy with a 95 in public speaking. Oh my goodness. But it's definitely the attitude that stuck with me the most. Like the... It, it doesn't matter if I can get by with bare minimum on anything, on any job, any workplace, any effort. Bare minimum ain't gonna cut it for me. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like just getting by. I prefer to excel when I can. If I have the skills, the knowledge, and the ability, I will absolutely do everything I can to be the very best at what I'm doing. If that's not feasible, or it's something I'm blatantly not good at, I know when to give up. And there's no shame in giving up when you're just not going to get something. I mean, don't go around giving up on everything if it's a hard struggle at first, because you might very well show progress and develop skills. Um, video games, very much. A set of skills that you can grow and learn. If you've never played Minecraft, uh, you can learn how to play Minecraft and get better at it. Although Minecraft isn't really a skill-based game. But if you don't show any progress, any promise at all of ever being decent at something, I I suck at math. I'm, I'm, I'm okay at math. I can get by with math. You know, I, but anything advanced, it just my brain melts. It's just so boring. And, you know, that's true for a lot of people. They don't like math. I'm also not good at music. <laughs> I am absolutely tone deaf. I'm not particularly good or skilled with art, mostly because I can't control my fine motor movements very well. So my hands shake and trying to draw with shaking hands is... There are better things to be doing, put it that way. So I find no shame whatsoever in putting the pencil down and saying, you know what? I took one art class. I took an art history class in college. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, doodles? Uh, that's one thing. Uh, random line art? Okay, whatever. Uh, sitting here on Twitch, looking at all the wonderful overlay overlays and art and emotes and stuff that people have made. Not me. It's I'm going to have to pay somebody else to do it. I got nothing left. <laughs> And it's, it really is the difference between making a fool of yourself and not, like, if you're just going to stand up there and embarrass yourself, stop. Or better yet, if you've got a friend who can pay attention to you and realizes that you're going off and embarrassing yourself, have them stop you. Because sometimes you don't notice, and sometimes you're already there, and it's too late. Uh, I've been there, done that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was not fond memories. There we go. And I won't go into details on that, because, uh, you know, anxiety, panic. Why you want to relive that? It happens. Sucks. Eyes up, chin forward. Or, other way around. Chin up, eyes forward. There you go. And go on. You know, it happened. Next day. 
freak. Very nice. There we go. Okay, that was a very particularly long story time with Peppy. <laughs> and I'm cool with that. We need those every now and again, especially when uh, the, the wonderful content that you're observing at the moment is... Well, yeah. I'm, I'm chopping down trees. What you doing, Minecraft? We, uh, we chopped... Stone? For... Uh, almost a whole hour? Minus a few trips back to empty inventory. And here we are doing the same thing with logs. Yeah. There we go. Yep. And the thing about uh, bowing out gracefully, uh, just two days ago, literally two days ago for me, I skipped a stream. The first stream that I've actively skipped that was scheduled, I just didn't do it. I wasn't up for it. Mentally, I wasn't, wasn't in a place where I could do it. It is a form of public speaking. I do have to keep talking the entire time. Otherwise, what is the point? Not to get creepered, so I'm going to go back to bed. Here we go. Funky light glitch. And had I streamed Tuesday, I, it would not have ended well. It would have ended poorly for everybody involved. Anybody that actually showed up in chat would have been like, what is this guy talking about? Why is he so depressing? Because I was in a bad place Tuesday. It's been a bad year a bad year for everybody, and I don't want to spread that to, to people. They've got their own problems to deal with. So I won't go into detail about what all my problems were. Still are, really. Learning to live with them, as we do. There we go. But there, there was no shame in that at all. That was a decision. I pulled the plug on that about two hours before the stream. Made that call. It's like, you know what? Not going to happen today. Don't want to make a habit of that. I did make myself come back uh, yesterday. Stream. But it was a familiar game. So, you know, more like coming home than going to work. That's really where you want to be when you're streaming. Here's some advice for anybody that wants to be a potential streamer. If you ever wake up and it feels like going to work. Maybe you shouldn't stream that day. Burnout is a real thing. It affects people. Uh, getting burned out is a surefire way, surefired way to lose interest in your hobbies and the things you enjoy doing. And it'll really, really quickly make you no longer enjoy doing them. Uh, I burn out on video games as a whole. For several years, and I, I don't think I touched a console or a PC or gaming for a good solid five or six years. Just completely quit. Uh, some of the lowest moments in my life during those years, to be perfectly honest. And I'm very, very glad to be back doing them. I don't feel like video games are a waste of time. This is my brain unraveling from the real world. I don't... Uh, you, you can't run 100% all the time. Nobody can. Anybody that says they can, something's missing. They're, not, they're, they're missing something, or they're not telling something. Or maybe they are, and eventually they're going to break. Which, you know, that sucks when you break. Oh no! Just like that axe. It's just gone. So, being back here and streaming has gotten me back into gaming in general. I have several games, so many games that I haven't even touched. I own them and I've never played them. And I'm looking forward to 
sort of sharing that, even if it's just to an empty chat room. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't mind. I'm, I'm getting better at just talking to myself. It's sort of meditative and introspective. Yeah, there we go. I need to quit saying, there we go. That's uh, what happens when you stream for four hours. Talk to yourself, basically. Said it again. No! Wow, is that an apple? The first apple I've seen this whole time. Of course, the, the oak trees were the last one that I did, so. Is there anything left in this jumble of wheat? Is there a singular rogue block right here that I spy? There. Nope, oh, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't you dare say it. <laughs> I do not see any more. I think. I believe. That's got it. I got lucky with only the one tall tree. I'm kind of expecting there to be more. Sure. Always a pain to chop down. Cool. Okay, let's go make some charcoal. <laughs> and I need sure that'll work. Log. Log. And I need charcoal. Imagine I had more dark oak than anything. Did I just hear a zombie? Cool. That should cook up three stacks of charcoal. Which should do us for a while. I guess where there's a cave right beneath the surface. Here, I always hear monsters when I come running over here. Not going to get around to building that. I don't want to start halfway through a session and then not get able to finish it. But next time, since I made it all the way down to diamond layer here, um, chew out this mountainside right here. And probably chop down some trees and build over the top of it to build this smithy right here where this hill is. Over all these holes. This will be the actual smithing area down here. Dig some of this out. I do want to see if I can connect. Run straight this way and connect to the enchanting room. I think that would be cool. And wherever this goes. I like using natural terrain to inspire my design. It won't look natural when I'm done, because I'm going to tear all this out. But it will sit here and occupy the space. <laughs> I don't know if that counts or not. Okay, last time I come over here. Yay, sticks. I, I understand the appeal of sticks now, because I'm burning through torches. Quite a few saplings. I'll put the actual logs in here because they're already all over the place. I've got to, got to go through this inventory. I have an apple anywhere else? I'm pretty sure you have to. Hmm. Okay, so that was very, very tall. It's definitely getting the conversational tag. I know I said I wouldn't come back over here, but that was a lot of saplings. The llama army continues. When did I pick up a bow? Not complaining, I needed one. I've got this one. 
See if we can enchant them, what we get. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll actually get infinity. I need lapis. Nope, power and power and power. Uh, can you enchant arrows? Is that a thing you can do? Nope. Everything else is already enchanted, so... Power it is. Unbreaking. Yes, unbreaking. Something I could do is make an anvil and combine some of these, but eh, I don't see. Well, now I am mildly out of ideas for what to finish this episode with. I keep calling it episode stream, whatever. Oh, string. Where did I get that much string from? Uh, upwebs maybe? Did that take down a spider spawner at one point? I think I did. Uh, what I could do. A little bit of maintenance out of the way real quick. All down. I don't have a fence gate made. I need sticks. Do I have any sticks? I don't have any sticks. Sticks. Fence gate. There we go. Very nice. There we go. I'm saying there we go. <laughs> hey, he's going for a swim. Isn't he cute? Okay. Even actually, let me get that up. Instead of wasting them. Reading up the leather farm. We can have some leather goods. Look at all this leather on legs. This song just isn't very good. Hi, come here. Come here. Come on. Here you go. Anybody else with hearts? Can this poor lonely cow find someone to heart with? Yes, we had an odd number of cows. Oh, I found another heart. More hearts. Okay. That is all of the hearting that we can do today. And we got the airlock done. So I ain't gotta worry about the shining coming in through here. Uh, the other idea I had was to do something with this house, and, um, yeah, I don't know, this is just a box, honestly. That's, that's the entire point of it, was to be a box, and have this set up as a uh, meat dispenser. I'm not very good with the details. <laughs> I've never been good with details, I'm more of a whole idea. So. Like, I had this shape in mind when I started building, and I achieved that shape. Don't ask me to go into any details. <laughs> Which is, you know, I, I used to be able to do interiors, and now I just can't. 
Since I can't, I haven't tried. I will get around to attempting to do interiors at some point. It, it's on the list. There we go. Like I was gonna do paths and have this done, and then I got sidetracked downstairs. That took longer than it should have. So much exploring down there. The other thing I need to do is work on this tower. Um, like from the inside, it doesn't matter. Inside, this is just uh, this has got to move. Uh, from the inside, it's just going to be a square box. No windows. Maybe some torches and I don't know some. Uh, what are they called? The item frames? Yeah. I've been considering doing something like that with walls to sort of round off the edge some so it's not quite just a big box. Can't bust this one. It's got... It opens up. But I can put those couple, uh, those walls right here. I think I would rather have them be cobblestone, why I keep trying to say cobblestone. Or actually, can you make andesite and stuff walls now? Is that a thing? Where is it? Can I make a smooth stone wall? No. Uh, black stone. Black stone wall. What does this look like? Oh my goodness. Okay, from a distance, that doesn't look too bad. It has a hard line built into it, though. I do like that there's no gap on it, though. There's a gap in most of them when you do this. Now, let's do some experimenting. Okay, all right. And does it have to be polished? Can I just make regular andesite walls? So, there's andesite. You have a polished andesite slab and a regular andesite slab. That makes a pressure plate? Oh, right, because it, um, it counts as stone. Like actual cobblestone. So the andesite wall looks pretty much like a smooth stone wall would. One of those. Uh, can't make diorite slabs with polished diorite. Has to be turned up diorite. Um, just be a diorite wall. Diorite wall. Very nice. Uh, can you do basalt? Can basalt be made into walls? I don't like it. I have polished basalt. So do I have you know, regular, regular black stone? Polish basalt anywhere? Nope. Okay, so give me the regular basalt back. Polish basalt. Eight blocks on do. Here's the. Oh, you can't make it. Just a regular black stone. Have. Uh, Hey, so you can't make polished basalt walls. You can make basalt walls. Curious. I had sticks. Does it make a fence? Hmm. 
is a strange block with sometimes it has wooden properties. Nope. Okay, so basalt does not make walls or fences. Take some of these out side by side, what do they look like? Sort of experimenting and learning new blocks. This is the polished blackstone wall, and this is the unpolished. Oh, I very much prefer the unpolished. I actually like the unpolished blackstone in everything. I don't like the polished texture, it's just so busy. And it's got these hard lines built into it. And this you can tile. Okay, so end of site. Hmm. I like it. Useful for making rock formations and such because it looks like stone so much. Um. If I were to throw in cracked stone bricks and some mossy and really chew this up and make it look weather beaten, I think there would be a place for these in it. Granite wall. Okay, so they fixed the gapping issue. There doesn't appear to be gaps in walls anymore, which was always a problem I had with them. Uh, granite. Granite doesn't look good on its own. It really, really needs to be polished. And I don't think there is a polished granite wall. I didn't even check. Polished granite slab. Uh, no, there's no polished granite wall. But polished granite goes really, really well with brick. And there is a ton of clay out there in that river. I may go collecting some. And I have plans to build, like, uh, a little town once I get through. Okay, you can't fit through there. Interesting. There we go. It is one and a half blocks tall, apparently. I do have plans to build a little town like, further over that way. This is just sort of the outskirts of it. And I was thinking about doing a town hall or post office with bricks and granite. I think that would look good. Which brings us to... Um... Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> like, I can actually think of some uses for that texture. None of it involves building houses. Oh, my game sounds a bit quiet for four hours, really. That's a bit better. I hate audio mixing. Like, it, it, they're, they're quiet in Minecraft, and then I go to the next game, and they're overpowering. It's just, it's ridiculous. So much better without that hole in the ground. Like, believe it or not, yes, I can actually think of a use for these blocks, along with bone blocks, to make, like, really cool sculptures and fossils or skeletons. I think that could be really neat. Uh, like I said, these, uh, I don't know, uh, the untextured uh, granite, it's not a good texture. Andesite's fine. I wish it had a polish because, you know, I love polished andesite. Got it in the floor in there for a reason. It's very much like um, basic stone in a wall. It's terrible. Look at it. Get rid of this hard line and it would be fine. I mean, it's still super, super, super busy. Like, it looks like a powdered block. 
but hang on, give me this. Oh, look at that. It's terrible. Why? Why is there an outline? Like, I like, I like textures that blend like these. Build a wall out of them and they look good. You build a wall out of this, it's just terrible. You can't do anything with that. You literally can't do anything with that. This, however... That's good. Good. That's good. That's not. This is more of an asphalt texture. This would be better for the path block that I was thinking about doing. I'm gonna. If if I do it, I'm gonna have to learn how to retexture blocks and get rid of this line. This line is ugly, and it's in every single polished block. Every polished block has that line around it. And some of them you can get away with, like the the polished uh, andesite here. It it's all right. Polished granite. It it looks okay. The the line around it looks okay. It looks like a block. And when you tile it, it looks like blocks tiled. In fact, I can show you. There. Looks like some sort of strawberry cheesecake or something. <laughs> Look at how busy this is. No two pixels next to each other except from like this weird question mark thing are the same color. It's just, it's so busy. It's terrible. Tone this down about 10 times and you're good. Even with the line, it would be okay. Although I still would prefer it with it. Yeah, I've got to learn how to retexture. I'm sure to get rid of the lines. Like there's no line on these blocks. Granted, these aren't polished. Uh, it's the same problem I have with this block. Same problem. It's too busy. Just make it pink cobblestone and you're good. Or pink this. In fact, pink that would be awesome. Clean up a mess that I've made here. Can't do smooth stone. I was wanting to do smooth stone, but you can't do smooth stone. So I guess... Probably going to end up with either uh, cracked stone brick for these walls, which is obnoxious because it adds an extra crafting step, or just straight cobblestone. Ooh. Polished basalt. What does this look like? I already said it looks like a tree, bro tree block. So, Oh. Oh. Bad. That's a good texture. That's a really good texture. Uh, it's flat though. Flat against these walls, and it did no. However, that's going in the smithy. That's definitely going in the smithy. I like it, and I, I want to hit it with an axe, but it looks like wood. It's not wood. <laughs> well, let me just make a mess. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's what happened. I hit the uh, DPI button on my mouse. My things went haywire. Nope. I wish I could remap the DPI button. Just get rid of it entirely. I never use it. All it does is throw everything off. All this. Oh, go in there. There we go. Coolness. Not killed. Ten minutes. <laughs> Oh dear, this is what I was just talking about. If, if you've resorted to literally killing time, uh, you've already lost. And this is my fault for not really planning enough. Um, building this is going to take an entire stream. Building the, the smithy is going to take a whole stream. Like building this little farmhouse took a whole stream. Because I tend to sit back and I look at it and I go and I change one thing and I come back and I sit and I look at it and I go back and I change one thing and I come back and I sit and I look at it. I do this over and over again. Until I'm happy with it. Uh, and I'm happy with it. That awning was particularly a pain. Getting it to look sloped. Because I was trying to slope it all the way from the wall here and it, it needed to come out before it sloped. 
and now it looks good. Well, looks better than it did anyway. I like it. I need to do some hay bales in there. Bed. Feeding trough. Something. No, just small details that really you know make a build look like something other than basic blocks. That's all this is at the moment. But man, you know, better than default generation. That's really what we're going for. <laughs> but does it look like this generated in a village? If it does, I may want to rethink it because Mojang. One thing they did not do very well. The original villages were awful. New ones, new ones are okay because there's there's plenty there's more variety and stuff. I have I was gonna put my bed up here, and turn this into a bedroom, but I mean I don't really have anything to put in a bedroom. <laughs> Why can I not? There we go. What if there was seeds trying to plant seeds? Ah, I see. And then I don't even have a way up to that one. Like going back in here. Okay, I guess this works. Look out, tower. Balcony for looking out over things. And then getting I need to, I really need to put a ladder inside this thing. And, ooh, that looks terrible. I need to fix that. <laughs> uh, it's flat on top, so I would like to be able to go up top. It's flat, therefore I must stand on it. How oh, that works. Uh, this needs a torch right there. Yep, that's fixed everything. It just needed that one torch. I get dark here. No, I won't. Is that enough torches? Uh, no. I still need torches. Here. And one here. Oh. Oh, actually, it's got one up there, doesn't it? Oh, you never have too many torches. Torch spam! Now nothing will spawn up here and fall down on my head. I've got literally one torch in this room. It's more than enough. Are we looking on this side? No torches at all. Yep, that's got to change. Ah, okay. Did do this side. Uh, just forgot to do the back. Maybe. And then that one will cover this. So. Dang it. I was thinking about doing that on this side and didn't realize I'd done it on that side. There we go. Cool. Torch is hidden away in here, so the front door is lit up. Out of torches, there we go. Oh, and the sun going down. So this is going to be a particularly short episode as I have literally run out of things to do <laughs> without starting a new project. I don't want to start a new project. I'm going to watch the sun reach down a little bit lower. Oh, let's get to bed. I kind of hope you've enjoyed the the absolute rambling that happened in this one. I wasn't wasn't expecting this one as talky as it turned into, but it it was okay. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I don't mind talking like that every now and again. All right. Um. Thursday, so I'm off. Uh. Hopefully, I'll be back tonight. With a random stream. It's gonna be Mario Maker since I can, but I don't know. Viewer levels 
probably would bring in the most people. I think maybe I need to do building because I'm way behind on my super world. So, and that means nothing to you if you have no idea what Mario Maker is. Good night. That's where I'm going to have to cut the video at the end. And now I can do my spiel for Mario Maker. Right. Cool. Uh, back again tonight, like late, late, late tonight, my time, 11 o'clock, my time, late. Uh, I considered starting sooner on Thursdays, but I really want a consistent schedule that people can sort of keep up with. So maybe a random stream middle of the day when I wake up. I don't know. Let me find somebody to raid.